Crayola event represents to me experimentation. So you always want to think outside of the box when you're an artist. You always want to push it a little bit farther. So this event for us is to allow the students to experiment with something that they probably haven't experimented with before. I told them that they could use anything they wanted and do anything with the products that they wanted to do as long as they were Crayola products. So we have heat guns in here, um, there's a baking tray in here, people are using paintbrushes and doing an acoustic style painting with the wax, which is very difficult, and regular shading methods of the Crayola crayons. We were testing different techniques, how to use the Crayola on the panel in itself, what stuck and what just completely didn't work at all, and we had the most fun, my partner and I, just melting crayons onto the paper. It was um, mixing the colors, seeing where it goes by itself. That was pretty much what we wanted to run with. I melted down some crayons in a cupcake tin, and then I broke them apart, and now I'm sculpting them. And they're supposed to be little, like flower petals. Hopefully it'll work out well. We wanted to um, represent the theme of beginnings um, by using a creature. Um, what's the name of the creature? Uh, it's called Ouroboros. It's like a serpent eating its own tail. We saw a symbolism that the Ouroboros like meant like deconstruction and reconstruction, like a cycle, like a new beginning. So yeah, we wanted to add to the theme. When this project brought us together to use crayons and Crayola products again. It was like going back to childhood memories and then just seeing like the ideas that you weren't exactly able to execute when you were that young, being able to take all the techniques and experience you have now and then bring forth that inner creativity.